10 tips for the exams. With the exam season on, everybody is concerned about how to score the maximum marks in the examination. And although all of you have studied well, there is always a certain fear about not achieving enough. Also, there is a nagging thought at the back of your mind. What if the paper is too difficult? What if the paper is too tricky? Or what if I might just forget what I have learned? What if I go blank? Etc. Etc. So, in my more than 38 years of experience in teaching, I have summed up a few tips for the exams. So, we come to tip number one. Say no to all the negative thoughts that emerge from your mind. Remember that you have prepared yourself for the exams well. So, calm down and tell yourself, I have done my best in preparing for this exam. I shall not get confused. I have meticulously studied the syllabus and I shall be able to handle most of the questions. I know how to write most of the answers for I have done that before. Give yourself a pep talk. Number two, get enough sleep before the exams. Remember, a whole lot of students burn the midnight oil before the exams. But understand that a tired mind will not be able to think well compared to a well-rested mind. It will also prevent your mind from going blank. Remember, it is the panicked mind that will bring fear to your mind, which will cause blankness. Number three, do not give up on any subject or topic. Remember, that winners never quit and quitters never win. Remember that a battle is always won in here. Here. This is where the battle is always won. It's one here in your mind. Now that you're mentally all geared up, let us see how we can handle the exams. Number four, read your question paper carefully. Paying attention to the choice questions first as they will largely determine how well you score in the exams. Search for all the factors involved in the question and also check for any hidden facts that have to be tackled first. Number five, present your work neatly. Having a good handwriting helps, but also you can draw a line after each question to separate the answers from the questions. Answers should be written in a box. Look at this question. Neatly presented and the answer is kept in a box to highlight it. Also, do not overwrite. If you have to cancel, the cancellation should be done by drawing a horizontal line on the word and do it neatly. Do not write too small or too large a font size. It will annoy your, annoy your examiner. Number six, organized presentation. If you carefully plan the answer, you will be able to write it in an organized manner. For example, for a question that asks you to write differences, draw two columns and write those differences point-wise. Now look at this question where we have to write the differences between electromagnet and permanent magnet. Draw the columns and write it point-wise. If there is a question like give reasons why, which is following this B part, 
you underline the keywords can see the keywords being underlined that's how you present your work number seven do not skip steps especially in a mathematical solution it not only gives you a correct answer but also enhances your logical thinking capacity number eight subjective questions break them into smaller points analyze the subjective questions into the different categories it entails identify these categories well and present them each on a fresh line developing them as you write on look at this question on radioactivity the question was radioactive materials are an alternative source of energy and it must be used wisely give reasons to justify this statement now here it entailed the different points which are mentioned in each bullet as you can see it's a subjective question so break it into points and as you write the points develop on them number nine what do you do if you do not know a question if you do not know a question at least identify the quantities involved in it and write them down maybe your mind will work on it after a while so leave a few lines for the question and move on to the next question but do not panic because you have not been able to answer go ahead finish the paper and then come back to it and start working on it afresh number 10 lastly pray for yourself ask god for wisdom knowledge and understanding and god who has all of it will give you from his abundance may you outshine all your past achievements all the best god bless